Yes. To all of the members of the court, I am pleased to welcome Justice Jackson to the court and to our common calling. Well, first tonight, a historic moment in the nation's capital as the first black woman is now on the bench of the Supreme Court. And while it is historic, politically, it may be a tough road for Katanji Brown Jackson and other liberals. Good evening. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Alicia Barnes. And I'm Brian Blakely. Queen City News reporter Will Lewis joins us now live from uptown. Will, you spoke with a political expert who says the historic significance of this day should be recognized. Yeah, that's right, Brian and Alicia. Khalif Rhodes, a political expert, says the swearing in of Katanji Brown Jackson is the equivalent of this generation's Thurgood Marshall. But they say that her sitting on the bench may not swing the pendulum, which has already went to the right, given the recent U.S. Supreme Court rulings. Are you prepared to take the oath? I am. A historic day in the nation as Katanji Brown Jackson, the first African-American woman, is now a U.S. Supreme Court justice. For some, a great example of what can be done through hard work. It shows you that as a woman, you can knock down any barrier that's in front of you. And then as an African-American woman, there's additionally no barrier that can stop you. Political expert Khalif Rhodes says he explained the significance to his three daughters, the same way his grandparents talked about another significant time on the Supreme Court. I think it's the closest moment that my generation um, and their generation will have to like a third good uh, Marshall generation. The historical moment will remain, but the hard work is not over for Jackson, according to Rhodes. She's replacing retiring Justice Stephen Breyer. And Jackson may be sitting on a court with a conservative view for years, given recent rulings. You would think these types of outcomes would have a direct impact on voter turnout in our next upcoming elections. However, I I'm not sure. Rhodes says that sentiment goes for both parties, one side wanting change and the other liking the direction the country is going in. He says it will come down to which side can rally its base and get people to the polls. A battle of anger versus fear with some still reacting to former President Donald Trump appointing three conservative justices. People close to him thought that they they misstepped with this one because it would enrage and encourage the Democratic base. I think that that's the only base that can use this as motivation. Um, on the other side, the Republican camp could say, listen, this is why we need to continue to have stronger people in place. Now, Jackson and the other justices will begin the new term in October. Live in Uptown, Will Lewis. Queen City News.